Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Monster Hunter Stories. Last time we left off, we were over here in Etul Lofty Trees, doing our thing. I actually have to get down there. There's also the Everden right there, but since we're kind of hurt and we did fight a fair few monsters um, last time, why don't we actually go back to Rudo Village and... Um, See if we can upgrade anything, refresh, turn in some quest stuff. I, I don't know. All right. Our current objective is search for Paolomu. I already got a Paolom Paolumu. His name is, what did I name it? Dandelion? Dandelion, that's right. All right, so, and we have a quest we can turn in up here, it looks like. Hello. <clears throat> oh, you're back? Did you chase off the Arzuros already? Sure did. Okay, and we got Greatsword Guard, which I'm pretty interested in. Teach you the Greatsword Guard skill. Use that huge blade like a shield. Awesome. Yay! Oh, so you went up against those Azuras and won? Neato! You and your monsters are the real deal. We sure are. Don't mess with us. Alright, so do I gotta use this? Is it like a... actual usable item? Hmm. Greatsword moves. One, two, three. Yeah, I guess we do get more moves as time goes on. Um, and yeah, we got Greatsword Guard now, so that's good. We have the ability to guard with the Greatsword if we ever want to, so that is nice. All right, I didn't get any eggs, right? No, I got a humble herbivore egg. Let's uh, go hatch this bad boy, because it's a new monstie, I'm pretty sure. <coughs> it's uh, one of those ones we got. Weird ones. Probably not gonna be super crazy. An Absaros? Wait, you're new. What? Wait, I haven't seen one of you before. I don't think. I've never certainly never fought one of you. Um okay. What is this? Light non-elemental damage to one enemy, fairly high chance for a crit. Hits a charge. Marginal boost marginally boost non-elemental defense. Okay. Cool. Uh, wait. Okay, there we go. I was like, wait, how do I get out of the screen? But I realized I used triggers to get there. Okay, well, you're neat. I can probably find a better review at some point, so actually I won't give you a name. I thought you were going to be one of the little doofy-looking things that I think looks kind of cute. Oh my god, your power. Um, your attack is 19, though. Huh. You can search for plants, however. Um, I'm still gonna put you in, I think, over Bulldrum. You might have less attack and stuff, but I want to give you a shot, plus you have the plant search, which is neat. Of course your attack is 19 because you're incredibly low level, I know that, but uh, I'm kind of wondering if you'll scale up to Bulldrum's level or uh, not. Let's turn in some quests. Alright, so all's meat in Love and War. Sure. All right, that got Absaros to level five. And we get some flash bombs for that. And that's it. So we can kill more of these. Let me re-accept the Jaggy one. We got more Gorthy Garlic to do these. Gorthy Garlic, I don't know why I said it like that. Got some muscle meat. Um, and we can get well done steaks. Mahana commodities. Yeah. Mushrooms, kill conchus, yeah. Okay, so we should probably just stick with this stuff now. I wish you could sort it by, like, which zone it's for. I don't think we can do any more of those right now, so let's just ignore that. Let's go over to the blacksmith, which is right over here. Oh, yeah, and yeah, there's no quests around town that we need to accept. Welcome. What's up, friend? So, forge. <clears throat> We still can't make any of these, even though I really, really want to. We can make the Bone Tomahawk, the Plume Flint, Sleep Seal Chaser, interesting. The Pico TP, you look kind of cool. Oh my god, wait, you're you're finally an upgraded Gunblade? I mean Gunblade, uh, Gun Lance, sorry. Sorry, too many years growing up with Final Fantasy VIII. Uh, okay, that's cool. I want this, and it's a fire gun blade. Neat. 
Yes. Yes, I want this. It also looks really cool. Gonna be honest. So, goodbye, Bone Gun Lance. You have been replaced. Okay, that's pretty good, then. And that's... Yeah, these are fire things, mostly, which aren't gonna be super useful if I get into battle against the Anginath, so... I mean, piercing power coating. Wait, what does piercing mean, actually? Just red hot, heavy impact on monster parts. Ooh. Okay, that sounds pretty good, actually. <clears throat> and yeah, you don't get any special skills. And you don't either. Yeah, okay. So, but that, the thing on the blaze bow sounds really nice, actually. But for now, we got the Peko TP. Which basically gets no special abilities either. But it's new. So, forge armor. I kind of just want to save up for the Anja armor. But... Who's to know when we're going to get that? You have Dancer. Increase speed when HP is at full. Yeah. We're currently wearing the Puke Puke armor. Which is not great. You're weak to fire, so you'd be horrible to have against uh, Anjanath. Aren't we? Oh wait, no, we're using, yeah, we have the Puke Puke armor, but you re we're using the Bulgerum armor, which is slightly weaker. I'll stick with this for now. That is probably what we'll want against Anjanath. Yeah. Yeah, that's probably what we're gonna want against our boy Anjanath. Let's go ahead and make this actually, since I'm fairly sure I'm going to need it. Or, I hope I'm going to need it if I'm wasting resources on it. It's not much, though. So, the cuckoo armor. Yeah. There you are. Uh, no. And we want to upgrade it one more time, probably, right? So that'll probably help us against uh, Anjanaths once we actually get the ability to fight them consistently. Um, and we got all of these. All right, weapons. I want to upgrade you. We need... B Kutku material, damn it! So we can't upgrade that yet. It is still better than my bone one was, to be fair. Pretty sure. What was my bone gun? Let's 17. Right, this is 21 at least. It also has higher defense and stuff, so. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Alright. And we'll sell our trade in items. There. Alright. Yep, try different equipment, blah, 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 blah. All right, let's get back in there to the zone where things are happening after we use the prayer pot, of course. You thought I was gonna forget. Uh, pray for that XP. And let's offer... What? Why does this one have a little thingy on it? It seems like it's gonna last longer because it has like a little logo. Huh. Hmm. I actually want this lucky charm, so I can make sure I get the max amount of points from battles that we do. Yeah. And Lunar Luck, what's it looking like today? Hit me with it. Ow. Yeah, shut up, you don't care. You want me to lose, because you're like, hunting me down or whatever, right? Alright, ride caravan. Let's get back into Etul Lofty Trees. We'll go in the evening, why not? Spice things up a bit. <clears throat> Alright, and... Hello, dandelion. Come here. Yes. Who's a good dandelion? You are. Oh, I love him. I need to get a Paolumu flush. These things are too damn cute. They're just too damn cute. Alright, so one thing I do want to do is I want to make sure I go in there. So, let's go this way. I suppose I could kill another one of you. Since we have your weapon and stuff now, we probably want to fight you. Okay, so head is what we want to go for. With this. And we are... What were you again? Shit. Shit, I don't remember what you were. Uh, I'm gonna guess you were technical. It's probably not a bad guess. Seems like most things are technical. Yeah, I can't quite remember you. Let's get Absaros in here. What? Oh yeah, I can check out your attack now. Look at you. You look you look pretty cute. I like you, Absaros. Um, Kablooey. 
Can we break that uh, face so they don't get their skill off? There we go. A bluey. 50 damage. That's not very high. No, whatever. Boldrum might be the better power type of uh, monster, I gotta say. Was encoding key. Alright, so I do want to switch weapons now. That The sound it's making is pretty god-awful, I'm not going to lie. Um, can you stop making that sound? I'm sorry, I know, but can you not constantly loop? I know I'm, like, murdering you and everything, and that's probably not ideal, but... The big arrow that, um, Alwyn's using with the, with his bow reminds me of, uh, the great bows in Dark Souls. It just looks like the same thing, well, the great arrows, not the bows. Well done. I'm impressed. Yay, we impressed Alwyn. And got a bunch of scales and stuff. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, so... Back this way. I can take out another one of them, but... I think I, yeah, you do your thing with your... I'm, you just, I'll leave you with your honey, alright? Get me into the Lofty Trees Everden. I want to get some bottle caps. Gotta get some bottle caps. So now that I've got all of the, uh... Like, recipe things, I... I think I may go for a stable upgrade next. Someone in the comments mentioned uh, that I would probably be needing it soon, and I was thinking, yeah, now's probably about the time I need to grab one, now that we're in a new area. So, yeah, I think we'll go ahead and do that. Oh yeah, you jerks. The ones that really tripped me up. Okay, so you are Jaggies, which are speed. And for some reason Dandelion's not using a technical attack. I. Not for the life of me know why. Um, unless I'm wrong. But I don't think I am. Let's get let's get Puke Puke in here. Alright, cool. You're gonna use the technical. Nice. Alright, slap them. Yeah, there's speed. Cool. I was right. I'm not crazy. The blue sh and uh, let's go ahead and fast forward that speed. <coughs> Especially if you're just gonna tackle. Galoosh. Alright, well they almost died, but we got him this time. Wow, you idiot. Whatever. I've been stupid before, I can't talk shit as much as I would like. Because I have also been dumb. But you're a robot, you're not allowed to be dumb. Impressive not a robot, but... AI. Jaggy scales and screamer sacks, cool. Thank you, thank you. I'll cherish it always, really. Really, truly. It will always be cherished. Okay. So. This place looks big. This place looks quite large. Um. I thought my thingy could use a... Uh, oopsie. Uh, whoop, nope. Uh huh. We nope. The this menu. Lead Monsty Absaros. There we go. That's what I was trying to do. Mark the stuff for us. I kind of like you. You remind me of an Ankylosaurus, which I always thought was one of the most badass dinosaurs because it just evolved to have a like basically a mace on its tail, and that's dope. That's some cool evolution. If you just evolve to have a mace on your tail, like that's awesome. That's just so cool to me. Uh, what is that? Uh, oh, you're a blue kutku. We need to, we need to kill some of you. All right, well, come here. Oh no, did I just get back attacked? Okay, cool, I didn't. Blue kutku, okay. And we have two jaggies, which are like that. You're technical, if I remember correctly, but yeah, I'm gonna take the jaggies out first. Oh no. Our, uh, our friend Absaros might go down here. Not, uh, super made for this battle, is it? Um, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and switch him out, I think. He's not ideal in this situation. Let's get Reptar out. Because Reptar won't get murdered by the Jaggies and will... Oh, wait, shit. Oh, I fudged up. But you're technical. Whoopsie. I fudged up. See, I told you, I can't make fun of Alwyn. I'm not allowed. Okay, we need to use a power attack on you. I'm not really sure what you're gonna be weak to, but whatever. 
Sploosh. Okay, you, you love swords. You're like, yes, please hit me in the face with more swords. I do not give a shit. So we don't want to hit you with swords anymore. That's a draw, but the Jaggy's dead because Reptar is much larger. Uh -huh. Ooh, big crit. Okay. All right. And I am actually going to switch out Reptar. So Absaros was actually the best thing for us to have in. I'm going to get Puke Puke out. Puke Puke is a big old, big old tank. Get out here. Big lug. All right. And we need to switch weapons. I'm going to switch to this so I can try to build up a heal and pop it on everyone because it seems like we might be needing it soon. Bloosh. Cold Blast. Okay, rest in peace that Jaggy. Hit him with the tech. Okay, wow, you like, um... You like those sorts of attacks too, huh? Um... Alright, well I guess we're rolling this thing. Giving it a shot for the first time. Uh, kabloosh! Oh no, you lost. Ow. But, you did get downed. Which means Puke Puke got a big hit in. And we broke you for some extra parts. This reminds me of the Blue Rathian. And, um... What's it called? Uh, Monster Hunter World. I mean, Blue Rathians may have shown up other places. I'm just gonna go ahead and use a Life Sift here. I know I should probably attack while it's down, but I also want to make sure that Shulk doesn't die. Bloosh. A bloosh. Good damage, everyone. Whoop. Yeah. You can't out Mario mini game Mario Party minigame me, friend. Oh, okay, that was it. Well, fought, my well I'm glad we defeated that pallet swap, because I needed that pallet swap stuff. Uh ground tremor. Not light non-elemental damage following these. And Fanny got a new gene slot. Baggies, blue cuckoo scales, and a valuable scale. Okay, so that's just money. Just money. Okay. Uh, anything down here? Let's go ahead and ping. Nope. But there is a treasure chest over here. Which has a bottle caps in it. Thank you. So, alright, let's walk back to this previous area too. There could be a bunch of uh, shit back here that we want. I just want to check it out real quick. Yes, that water looks like it would be poison water. Alright, there's something up here. Ah, it's a Arzuros. Probably with some Jaggies. Why do the Jaggies work with the Arzuros? I don't understand. Ping again. Uh huh. Uh, nothing. Yep, just some Jaggies and some Arzuros. Uh, if there's not a treasure chest here, I would prefer to just leave. Kind of hoping there would be a treasure or something over here. Doesn't seem like there is, though. Unless that's uh, one of the things where we gotta destroy the rock. Or whatever. Mm, can't tell. Is it? No, it's just a piece of geometry. Okay, so we need to go back this way and get out of here. You're so much slower than my bulge room, it feels. I still like your look, though. You look pretty cool. I'll give you that. I forget your name. And your tail looks cool. Big ol' big ol', uh, spike mace. So we're let's back over here. I'm noticing there's not a lot of things to pick up in this area, or I'm just missing a lot of them. I keep doing the plant ping, but I don't see shit. Okay, so hi guys. You're the bigger ones, the ones that are strength based, even though I would expect the biggest ones to be strength based. So, um 
We need to do a speed attack, and we need to get Reptar out here. Eek, Reptar is actually a little bit low on HP. Alwyn? No? You're not going to? Okay. Well, we're just gonna double attack this nerd, I guess. Boom. And... Yeah, double attack. Let's go. Kabloosh. You're not attacking my friend. That's a dead Jaggy. And... Yeah, now we just finish you off. All easy peasy like. Another double attack. And we got a pretty good score. I'm so glad we don't have Kana saying, We smashed it! Or you smashed it. That was uh, getting annoying being like, what it felt like was her only win, qu win quote. That or kinship always wins or some shit like that. I don't know. She was... It was mildly annoying. Gotta go ahead and heal up so we don't get into that same situation where we hop in there and then I'm like, Oh no, Reptar is almost dead. Uh, okay, nothing over here. Whole lot of nothing. Yes, hello. I would just like resources, please. If, is that, if that's too much to ask, I'll just leave. That's a big one of those thingies over there. Yes, I'm referring to it as a thingy. Ooh, treasure. What else is over here? Okay, that's the actual end. We don't want to go over there yet. There's more shit down here. There might even be more treasure. Who's to know? I wouldn't mind finding another blue cuckoo, seeing as I need its resources to upgrade my stuff. All right, you little nerds, let's go. You wanna do this? We'll do this. All right, so the Great Jaggy is technical, and the little baby babes are speed. So if it's technical, we actually want Absaros out here, but Absaros is not using a power attack like it should. But whatever. Let's just take out the baby first. Goodbye, baby. Ow. And victory. Thank you. Alright. And, okay, you're attacking them. So we need to actually switch to... Let's switch to Dandelion. Because... Shit. I made the mistake again. The thing I said I shouldn't do. Um... Hmm... The thing I said I should not do, I just did it. Flies through, uh, does 15 damage and sleeps. Could we do that, I wonder? It might work. Oh, yeah! Or, oh, wait, yeah, it's a draw because you're technical. See, I keep seeing that thing and I think it's power, so I was like, oh, man! Uh... Dandelion's gonna lose that, but no, it's technical, so it was just a draw. But that does mean I switched to the wrong thing. I should have once again stayed on Epiceros. It really is just tripping me up that the big one's technical, but the other one, yeah. Whatever, man. Whatever. Um, let's see. I'm kind of, uh... Let's... Do I have enough for... Yeah, I do. Um... What about monster abilities? What can you do? Air Blast, uh, low chance to stun, fairly high chance for a crit. Let's do that one. And I'll just do a normal attack. Get some of those monster abilities in here. Let's slow it down so we can see what the full attack looks like. Kabloosh! Now it's really mad. Whoop. Out of here. Okay, and you're gonna use Freezing Blast, which is good. Um, I'm gonna use a Power Attack, and we should get a double here. Oh, wait, no, you're not using, uh, you switched. Okay, so when you're angry, you switch to speed. Okay, that's different. You're using Air Blast. Ooh, we stunned it. Good job. Yeah, so when it gets angry, it does switch to speed. See, that gets confusing. That gets really confusing. It's all big and scary, so I'm like, oh, it's a power one, totally. It's not a power one, it's a technical, and then when you piss it off, it switches to speed. That's gonna catch me off, off guard, and I'm gonna screw up more than I would like to admit. 
They even have it color-coded for me, but it, you know... It's a lot easier when you're not recording a video that people are going to watch. You can just kind of sit there and take your time and make sure everything is 100% correct. But when you have people sitting here watching you and your anxiety kicks in and you're like, Oh no, I'm sitting here and I'm taking too much time or something like that. You kind of, you kind of just act in the moment. And I, for one, think, as long as it's not, you know, like, ridiculous, um... I have seen some some LPs that are just like, God, I, I actually can't watch this. Which, maybe that's how people feel about me sometimes, but... I personally think mistakes kind of make an LP. Because then it makes each experience different. If everyone was just perfect at the game and just... You know, never really had any problems, everyone would do the same build and everything, it'd just be kind of boring. But, uh... I don't know. That's just how I like to watch LPs. I like to see how different people experience it, what different people get out of it. Yeah, we've collected all the bottle caps and stuff. I'm sorry, I'm just grabbing some more random shit around here. And I'm gonna jack that egg and we'll, uh, hightail it out of here. Yeah, I see you, you see me. Okay, you want- You want to go, you weird platypus looking thing? No hiccups, now is not the time. Okay, you're technical, right? So, yeah, we want Epseros, but we don't want Epseros using a speed attack, but Epseros is using a speed attack, so... That's, um, that's a little unfortunate, but we'll, we'll switch to the Primo, Primo. And we'll go ahead and pop you on the head. You're just gonna use Song of Protection anyway, so it doesn't really matter what Epseros uses. Bongo, 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 bongo. Okay, all elemental defense up. Okay, so now you're attacking me, and I am using a power attack, which should beat you. I'm Sarah still isn't using a power attack. Weird, they, they keep making me doubt myself when it's like not the thing they would normally go for, and then they're like, you know what, I'm gonna do this. And you're like, wait, did they know something I don't? But no. Kablushi. Yeah, your uh, attack stats seem painfully low. I might switch back to Bulldrome. I just kind of wanted to give you a shot. You don't even really seem particularly tanky or anything. I don't know, man. It's weird. Uh, let's switch back to the old Bloom and Blade. And go ahead and give you a big stabby stab. I should kill you here. The Bloosh. And then we got two more attacks. Yeah, your attack's gonna do a ton of damage. 181. And Killer Crush. Kablushi. Wow, that was actually a lot of damage as well. Bum, 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 bum. Well fought, my friend. Thank you. And boom. Got a bunch of uh, those feathers. I'm pretty sure I've read the description on those before. I think that was the one I actually did go out of my way to read the description on, so. Do believe we're good there. Uh huh. Doesn't really smell like much. All the eggs are gone that fast? Jeez. Okay. Well, I guess we got this one shit egg, whatever it is. Sorry if I'm rude to you, shit egg. This game has, like, sort of the Pokemon problem of, like, you're not supposed to use which Pokemon uh, you like or the first one you got. You're supposed to use the one that you've meticulously grinded for that has the best possible genes. And they actually just comp they don't they don't call it EVs or anything like that in this game. They're just straight up like, yeah, no, that that particular monstie just has the best genes. So screw you, other monsties, if you were not born with the good genes. It's just funny. All right, so we've completed the Everden in this area. Which is cool. So now we can actually go focus on the Parumu again. Kablop. Kablop. Alright. Yeah, I think this is exactly where I turned around last time, wasn't it? Alright, time to battle. We got another Arzuros to deal with. Now they were power. And the Jaggies are speed. Which I'm going to technical. And we should get a double here, because Apseros is also doing it with me. No? Okay. Alright. Oh! Big- oh, you were- okay. Never 
fine. Yeah, we have to both be attacking the same enemy, and I guess Absurus was not attacking the same enemy as me. Uh, okay. You're gonna take that out. I guess I'm just gonna go ahead and get started on this guy. And I need to use speed attacks on you. Bloosh. Yeah, it doesn't always tell you wh who your monster's targeting. I was under the impression that if, as long as you're both using the same attack and you're attacking the correct way against something that's going in a head for head for you, your monster will basically just jump in and help you. But yeah, it has to be that your critter is attacking the same thing. Bloosh. So it is just easier to deal with when um, there's only like one big critter that you're fighting. It makes it a lot easier. Uh, let's go ahead and get Reptar in here. So this time we should get what I want, and I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have you go ahead and use Killer Strike. All right, and let's go. Babloosh, synchronize. And I got the, the thing for using the skill as well. Now it's really mad. Oh god, how do, how does how do your attacks change when you're really mad? I don't know. Do you stay power? Um Reptar is using a power attack. I'm gonna honey power. Oh yeah, you use this move and you get pissed off, but you've never been able to get it off? Because I always break you when you fall down before you get the opportunity to? That might kill you. Not quite. This might. Yeah, this probably will. Yeah, dead. Right in the head. Poor thing. While it's flailing on the ground. Oh, whoa, it's still alive. Alright, well, let's go ahead and get this, uh. These extra bonus points for using ride and kinship skills. Eh, we don't care. We've seen Velocity Crush a lot. Has a lot of damage, though. Um, well fought, my friend. You say that's the power of kinship too, or was that me saying that because it wasn't voiced? But hey, we got some big old brute bones and Arzuros pelts and stuff. I'm down. All right, so now let's continue on our merry way. It's probably an Arzuros den right there. Uh huh. Uh, gimme. Ooh, this place is pretty. Look at the flowers. I remember these things. Are they, are they called like... I forgot what they're called. I think you can collect them in World, though. And they're like a resource or something? Maybe I'm crazy, though. Hi, big guy. You're one of the, uh, yep, great jaggies. So... We got a technical, your friends. Let's go ahead and get, uh... Pookie Pookie out. So we gotta take out the babies first. Alright, so you go away. Yep, everything's correct. Cool. Making sure it was the right kind of jaggy and everything. Babloosh. Show me your skills. Big kinship obtained off of that. Wow, only 10 damage from that big tail swipe? I would expect it way more. All right, so once again, you're gonna use Venom Shot, actually. I and Alwyn's already attacking the smaller thing, so I'm gonna go with the power attack on the big guy here. We're gonna use Fang Breaker. Well, let's see if Puke Puke can successfully uh, poison it like it wants to. Boosh. Oh, don't, don't. Okay, well, that was five damage. Never mind. It, excuse me. Just forget what I said. Do whatever you want. You're not scary at all. That was an absolute joke. Okay. Well. Uh, oh, cool, Puke Puke. You're doing the right thing. And I can get a double attack with you here. Gaboosh. Now it's really mad. That's fine. I get a kinship attack built up anyway. And let's go ahead and ride and use, uh, what's your special again? Uh, no, it's the cool one where you take me with your tongue. Venom Surprise, yes. Bloosh. 
Eat it, nerd. That's the power kinship it is. Yeah, I'm not crazy about the, uh... Ooh, that was, wait, that was new. Shit. I don't know what that thing was. It was not something I ever called, though. I think it was, like, tail or something? Alright, so... So, treasure chest over here. Uh-huh. Four whetstones. Okay, you made a lot of noise. I was like, what is that? What is behind me? It's just you. I heard the sparkly. There we go. Oh yeah, that reminds me. I need to make a new sleep knife, even though these have been wholly ineffective so far. Or ineffective, I guess, is a better way to say it. But, whatever. Maybe I'm just using them on the wrong things. Gathering charms. Give me those three thunderbugs. I will be taking that. Yeah, thunderbugs I always wanted a billion of in Monster Hunter World. Countflies are swarming around that den. That must be where the Palumus hold up. Alright, well let's go in there and invade its house and murder it. You know, we really sound like the bad people when I put it that way. Wow, who just stored these two well-done steaks out here? Maybe I just stole the Palumu's dinner. Not only am I going to break into its house and kill it, I also stole its dinner that it carefully placed in a chest outside for safekeeping. I'm kind of an asshole. But they, they've they said or mentioned that this is like a, an evil Palumu or whatever. Because it's, it's mean, because it's inflected, infected with Calamity Ganon, or whatever. I, I, I don't know. Oh yeah, do I have a... Do I have a monster that can climb the ivy yet? Jump, plant search... No. You don't have an ab... It says you have an ability, but it's question mark, question mark, question mark. Is your ability just flying? Like, can I fly you? Because that seems very useful. I would like to be able to do that. This is a jump spot, isn't it? Yeah. Yep. Reptar. I require your assistance. I'm gonna be honest with you, I really don't want to fight that great Jaggy over there. Um, can we circumvent it? Hey, big guy, just ignore me. Nothing to see here. Just a small blue dinosaur running by. Oop. Bitter bug. <gasps> Bitter bug. Uh-huh. Ooh, gold bones. If only it were that easy to make a bunch of money. Brute bone L. Oh wait, no, that's not the money ones. Usually the gold ones always give me money. Penance fangs or whatever. But this one's like, no, nah, we're gonna give you a big old brute bone. A longin. Okay, another one of those things. Great shroom. What all is up here? Or, or five stones in this case. Need some more bones. The old root bone. All right, I there is a treasure chest back here that I do want to go grab. Don't want to have to fight that thingy if I can get away with it. Buying charm. Ooh, so that must be with. You know what? Fine, I will fight you. But I want to get a sneak attack on you. There we go. Alright, yeah, so... You're technical, we need to do power. I'm gonna switch to... You know, I'm actually just gonna stay on Reptar. But I'm gonna have him use... Um, his Killer Strike skill, so he can do big damage to you. And I am going to switch to my Zuragong. There we go. Now let's just wail. While your back's turned. Like the like like the heroes we are, hitting a monster in the back while its back is turned. All right, Reptar, get Absaros out here. All right, cool. You're just going to buff. Oh. Uh, that's gonna be enough to break you, I think. Yeah, there we go. The blue. Sh and there's that power shot. Cool. Alright, uh, and everybody just continue doing what you're doing. Oh, I should have went with a different weapon. I screwed up. But hey, we're still gonna break it pretty well. There we go. 
Yeah, those guys are getting pretty easy to defeat now. We'll probably be able to just auto battle them soon. Uh, yep. Yeah. Bunch of feathers and stuff. Cool, cool, cool. Alright. So... We want to go back this way. We want to go the other way. Down this path. I just realized it said... So we came into the Paolumu Din, which is a cave when you walk into it, but then we get outside and we're here in the open sky? Huh. Not something you think about, but it's a little weird. I guess it could be a cave kind of going through a place and... I don't know, but is this entire location really this thing's den? It's a big den. Crystal bone, excuse me? Hey, big guy, I just wanted to attack you in the butt. I'm sorry. Oh, wait, but you... Oh. Okay, so... We want to speed it. Uh, sword is good. It is power. Yes. Double attack. A blue sh Wow, we broke that part immediately. Okay, and you hit with the killer strike. We go ahead and do this zero gong. Uh, are we about to get another double? We are. Eat it. Okay, I'm realizing where I was screwing up with the double attacks. I had some weird shit in my head. Um, I get where I screwed up now. I think it was just throwing me off that, um... It doesn't tell you where your monsty's attacking sometimes. Like, there's not a line with who your monsty's attacking. You kind of just have to pay attention to who they're looking at. But, it's whatever. I like to think I'm learning it now. I will I will screw up, and I basically consider that part of my character development. <laughs> Can always bet that I'm gonna screw up. Oh wait 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 wait! It went back to its den, but we're in a den. What? It went back to its den, but we're in a den. What do we What do we do about that? Is there a den in the den? Is there denception? Search for. Oh, wow, there is a din in a din. Dinception. Oh my god, that's crazy. The monster's out cold. Yeah, okay. Well, now we're finally gonna get a Arzuros egg. Which will probably be a better power thing than this Apsuros that we've got. Plus, it looks cooler. So, I'm pretty happy with this. Silver spider silk. Alright, give me your eggs, friend. It's weird to me, it's weird seeing a bear sitting in its thing of eggs. Doesn't really smell like much. No. No, I need rarer. Come on, give me the big glow. No. Me, doesn't really smell like much. Oh no, the eggs are all gone. Damn it! Well, we couldn't get anything really good, but we have an Arzuros now. That's neat, I guess. Whatever. Uh, humble fanged beast egg. Cool. Alright, let's go deal with this, uh, story Paolumu. Uh-huh. Just grabbing some stuff along the way here. Not really seeing much else here. Big jump. Alright, here it is. Cutscene? Huh? Looks like nobody's home. Does that look like the face of mercy to you? Alright, well we already know you're technical. Paolumu may look cute and fluffy, but they're super fierce when they're all riled up. Go, hide somewhere it can't reach you. Fighting a monster like this on the ground is just asking for trouble. Hey, we didn't come here just to watch from the sidelines. We can still fight, right buddy? Yeah, we can mess it up. Okay, so it's technical, so we need to use power attacks. Um, let's see. Reptar is doing the correct thing, which is good. Uh, I'm actually gonna go ahead and, since this is a boss fight of sorts, go ahead and pop a whetstone. We might also be using flash bombs here, since that's usually what you use against, uh, Paolo's. 
All right, so no, you're not going to be doing that. I need you to use power attack. So we got to get Absurus in here, even though I'd really rather not. Um, boom. But we will get a double here. Uh, Blushy. And big ol' double attack. Alright, this thing is quite tanky, I'll give it that. But we're getting there. Alright, um... More power attacks, let's see. I Building up enough for skills... I think it'd be better to honestly just go for the kinship attack, though. So I think I'm gonna not go for the sword skills. I think I just want to build up the attacks. Why are you doing that? Okay, well... It's really your own fault that you died, Shulk. Gonna be honest with you. Okay, Alwyn's gonna heal up. That's fine. Uh, I can't tell who the Palum is attacking. Yeah. Hyper vacuum. Wait, is that gonna attack all of us? It might. Oh no, it's gonna. Yeah, its neck pouch is inflated. What's it planning to do? Blinding it is one way of taking it down, but you need to consider how to deflate its neck pouch. Okay. So I need to go ahead and use that thing. Um, boom. Uh, flash bomb. We're gonna go ahead and use it on the body. The blue sheet, get down! Alright, we knocked it down. Using a flash bomb against the flying monster. A very effective strategy indeed. Yes. Boom. Knocks him right out of there. Yikes, they got back up. Okay, so. You're attacking me. I'm going to get a head to head victory here, because Apsaros is also attacking you. Or double attack, sorry. Double attack head, head victory. Alright. And Blushy. Now it's really mad. Okay, how are you gonna swap things up, I wonder? That be the question. Hit him with the 69, nice. Uh, okay. I wanna ride. Oh cool, it's blinded too. Looks like. Um Who are you attacking? can't really tell. Maybe I should just pop the kinship. No, let's wait until we can do the double kinship attack. I think. That sounds like a good idea. Uh-huh. Right on. Let's do it. On that body. This is gonna knock you down. Boom! Oh, I should have not skipped the kinship attack. That was my bad. Oopsie. Uh. Alright, that neck pouch, though. I think I'm just gonna... Flash bomb you again. Get out of there. Oh, ineffective. Oh, cool. You guys got a double attack. Neato. I don't think I've ever seen my AI team up with my monster before. But maybe I haven't I just haven't noticed it. Okay, your speed now, so we need technical. Um, so get in here, Puke Puke. Alright, so. Yeah, go ahead and hit him with some technical. You got... Let's go ahead and do that. Actually, no. Because I, I don't I don't think it actually does the thing if you do a double attack. Like, I don't know if the poison effect would actually happen or not. Bloosh. And you don't get your turn. Brute force won't cut it. You can use slashing, blunt, or piercing attacks. Think carefully about your options. That's fine. I just wanted to get the double attack. We're about to knock him down anyway. Um. Okay, so we probably want to use a different weapon then. That's probably what we're uh, talking about here. So, uh. Okay, Puke, if you would. I mean, we don't really need it, I'm gonna be honest. It's not going for me in particular. I mostly just want to try and knock it down. Whatever. Air Blast. Uh, can we knock it down before it? No, it's very fast. Okay, that was pretty strong, actually. Ooh, it's weak to fire. Alright, well now we know. Okay, Alwyn's using a Mega Potion. 
I'm gonna go ahead and go... Oh no, you're back down, which means you're technical now. Which means I need Absaros, right? Because you were speed when you were in the air, but now I think you're back to this. Okay, but... Ooh, that's... The, okay, the range is not good against you when you're on the ground. Or the, the gun lance. Alright, but this should be a double attack. Mega potion time. Yup. No turn for you. Alright, we beat it. Yeah. Not as good as I thought. Learned something from this encounter too. Did you now? Alright, so we get a bunch of Palumu stuff. I want to get the Palumu armor. It's probably so nice and fluffy, man. Can you imagine sleeping in that thing or just cuddling up in it? You did it, buddy! Now we're another step closer to the right of channeling! <laughs> I'm sorry, I was just tearing up because I realized at no point in my life am I ever going to be able to curve up in, like, the tummy of a Palumu. As it, like, purrs or whatever the hell it would do. That would be such a nice feeling. You did it, buddy. Now we're one step, yeah, blah, blah. We couldn't have done it without you, Alwyn! You make a pretty decent teacher. You might even be better at it than me, and I'm navigating Naviru. Mm. Me? A teacher? You've got to be kidding. I mean, I, I don't I don't really believe that uh that Alwyn was actually scared that we were gonna lose that fight. I mean his name is Al Wynn. If you really want to become a better rider, you can learn more from the monsters than I could ever teach you. This seems kind of, kind, of, kind of an arrogant name, if you ask me. Monsters are much closer to nature than we are. They're in tune with the world around them. Understanding what a monster is trying to tell you is one of the most important skills you can develop. Well, that's certainly easier said than done. First, you must learn how to listen. Yeah, that's usually a good step for understanding someone or something. Now... Now I'm all confused. How? There's no rush. Just keep improving little by little. You'll see what I mean. Come on, Naviru. If Meowth can learn to speak human, then you can do this. Come. We need to report to the Elder. Now you're talking! Let's ride, buddy! Let's do it. And... I... So chance, go grab the egg and get moving. Alright, let's see if we can get a... Another rare, uh, Palumu egg. Although, in my experience, usually it gives you a shitty one the first time you defeat it. But we'll see. Who knows? It usually doesn't let you go for multiple grabs, either. Alright. Gimme, gimme. Like, look, these three eggs here? That's a lie. It's gonna be one egg. Yup. Oh no, the eggs are gone. Yeah, they just disappeared in the thin air. I wonder who did that. But you stepped all over him. Jeez. Alright. Get me out of here. Let's go. Yep. And now we gotta get back to town. And we're actually we're doing pretty well on time. Yeah, an humble, incredibly humble flying wyvern egg. Alright, let's get out of here. So we can just go ahead and go back this away. To Ruto Village. Thank you, flop. Ow. All right, so what do we got to turn in here, if anything? All's meat. Uh oh, I shouldn't turn. I shouldn't turn that in. We gotta go have sh our our Zuros, which is probably gonna be better than this thing I got. You know, I I just want to see what were the stats on you. Seventy-five attack. You don't even have high defense, really. Yeah, you're disappointing. I'm sorry. So don't don't use the generico monsters. Is basically what this is telling me. Um, darn it. You know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and go get that thing now from the bottle cap guy and expand my stable. Cause yeah, it's getting a little annoying having to get rid of them and such. Catnip, blah blah blah. Yeah, I want some stuff. I want the blueprint. Uh, exchange. Ooh, I can get the second one immediately, too. Wonder if I want to. I mean, what are my other options? Ooh. Oh, 
Okay. That might be pretty good. I mean, let's be honest. Yeah, I'm just gonna get a bunch of, uh... Maximum HP... Elemental defense, elemental attack. You know what? Yeah. Uh... You can't get more than that? Oh! Oh, you're out of them. Okay, well now I'm gonna get vitality. And sure, defense. Cool. And... Uh, sure, I'll get a Kelby braid, man. We'll go check that hair out in just a second. I mean, you're not gonna see it most of the time anyway, because actually, no, that was a total waste of bottle caps. You can't see it because I always have the helmets on. Why would I not wear the cool helmets? Actually, you'll see it in cutscenes. You will see it in cutscenes. So, we have the stable upgrade now, right? Or did I have to actually do something with it? Um... Yeah, okay, it's just there. It just exists now. Uh, crew of Pekko? Oh, we don't have one of you. Okay, yeah, we don't have one of you. You're fire, really. I wouldn't have guessed it. I mean, your uh, equipment that we got is fire, but I didn't know that you actually did fire elemental attacks. Light fire damage, marginally increased crit rates. Not horrible, I guess. Look at the little baby Arzuros. You're kind of middling in most things, but, uh, sure. And the Palumu has two fire defense. Which is probably pretty good considering you're weak to fire. But I don't think I'm going to be using any of those, really. Um, my current Palumu is better. Um, the Kurapeko, maybe? What? It's- God, it's another technical one, man. I already got too many technicals. Look at this. Look at this. I have three powers. One, two, three, four. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. Counted wrong. One, two, three, four, five technicals. Okay, no, we do have four powers. Sorry. And... Wow, have we really only got one speed type this entire game? Never mind. Speed's the one that's been getting shafted. Yeah, it's just been you guys. Huh. Crazy. I mean, I feel like they could have made some of these speed, like... I don't know, like, uh... This could have been speed, maybe? Uh, no, I, I don't know. Maybe the bull drum could have been speed instead of power, but it's a boar. You think of power when you think of a boar. I, I don't know, man, but... The... It's just, it's just weird, you know? Alright, so let's edit our monster party. Get the hell out of here. We're gonna put the garbage uh, bear in. Because uh, I like it more than you, Apsaros. I'm sorry. Uh huh. So we've done that. What do I wanna go do now? Probably upgrade armor. Welcome. Blah, blah, blah. Upgrade. I could also maybe forge some stuff. We didn't really see anything new. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yup. I mean, uh, saving up for the Anjanath stuff is probably what we we're gonna want to do. That was like the first bit really good armor you could get in the first Monster Hunter. Um, and I'm just not crazy about- Oh, look at the Lumu armor! Divine Blessing? We look like a sea captain. Sometimes reduces the amount of damage taken. Oh, it's so cozy, the Lumu armor. Not as fluffy as I expected, but... Still looks pretty good. Um... Let's see, we're currently using... The Bulldrum armor, which... Hit to Hitmaster is nice, but... God, the increase on defense is nuts. I think I will just go ahead and make it. Sounds like a good idea to me. There we go. Uh, yeah, go ahead and equip it. I mean, like I said, that hit the, that head to headmaster thing is good, but that's just so much more defense. Plus, I get to rep my favorite boy. Um, we can upgrade it. Oh, we can. We just barely have enough stuff to upgrade it. Yeah. Well, we have a shell actually, so we might be able to upgrade it to the third level. Oh yeah, we. Oh, I need Basarios material. Okay, never mind. 
But 55 defense. Look at that. We just don't want to take it into a fight with an Anjanath. Thank you. And look at me. I look great. I look cozy. This is awesome. Good. Good. Happy with this. Um, is that all we wanted to do? We got all of that stuff taken care of. I don't think there's... Is there anything I want to buy from the market? I mean, I could... Don't I have a bunch of those already, I think? Eh. Eh. There's not really anything I want from here. So honestly, I'm feeling like not a lot of things to spend money on. But maybe I just haven't been introduced to some of the mechanics that you would want to spend money on yet. But, uh, yeah. Alright, with that, I think we're gonna go ahead and end this episode. Oh wait, we need to go look at our hair. Our new hairstyle. Uh, and after that, we will end the episode off. Um, appearance. Hairstyle. We got... Where's the Kelby thing? Oh. Oh. Thanks, I hate it. Uh... I'm not crazy about it. <laughs> Ooh, wait, this hair's cool. And I wear glasses. Oh man, I should have. Oh yeah, no, 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 no. Sorry, we're switching hair. Oh yeah, that's totally me. That's way more me. Okay. Uh, no, can't. Yeah. Oh, that's so much more me. Look at me. Look at me. Yeah. I didn't realize there was a glasses option. Oh, and we even have them in the. Yes, this is perfect. Now, now this is good. Now this is perfect. I didn't think there would be an option to wear glasses in the hairstyle. I don't know why I left my house, but yeah, okay, this is so much better looking. Cool. Alright, well, with that, we're gonna go ahead and end the episode off here. I hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>